Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to show you the best recording settings for OBS that you should use when you record your YouTube videos. I already made a video about the best streaming settings. So if you haven't seen that one, watch it. It's the, the video before this one. This one is the best recording settings. It's for 2K 60 FPS. Again, you can use it for other uh, resolutions and stuff like that as well. But this one is specific for 1440p. Let's get into it. If you guys do like this video, make sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe. And uh, if you don't already know, I stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. Let's get into the video. Let's go. Okay, so now that we are in the settings over here, I can show you everything. So if we if we go to settings and OBS, again, I'm using the OBS Live, which is basically uh, just the Stream Elements OBS plugin on top of the normal OBS Studio. So the normal OBS, we already showed all the stream and uh, normal settings. So now let's go straight up into the output. This is just for the recording. Let's ignore the streaming part. Again, output mode, make sure this is advanced. Go to recording and over here, you can uh, change basically the type, set it to standard recording path where you want your things to be recorded. I have it set to my F, which is my uh, other hard drive, which is faster. Uh, just F recording. You can set it to whatever folder. Uh, generate file name without space. That's what I have on. Recording format MP4. So about recording format, I use MP4. It's one of the best looking formats and one of the formats that almost every single website is supporting. Uh, about MP4, one bad thing about MP4 is that if you record a video and for example, your power goes down or something happens to your PC and your power like just shuts down, your recording will be corrupted. Like it will be gone. It only records from the beginning until the end. Like if something happens, if you don't stop the recording and it goes off, it's going to be corrupted. So you can only pause it like yourself and then the save is like the file is saved. Otherwise, it get, it goes corrupted. So if you want, like if you have issues with your power going off or if you're doing like longer recordings and something happens and you lose the whole footage, I would not recommend MP4. But if you're doing short recordings like I am, like five, 10 minutes where you, it doesn't really matter if something gets corrupted, you can re-record re it, go for MP4. Audio track. Go for all the audio tracks if you want. I have it set to one and two because one is my microphone and two is my uh, actual sound. So it's my headphones or my my window sound. Uh, encoder, I use NVIDIA NVENC, uh, the new one, or you can use X264. Again, depends on the GPU and CPU you have. If you have a better GPU than your CPU or graphics card, I would recommend using NVIDIA NVENC. Uh, if you have the AMD, then use the AMD one. I'm not sure the exact name of it. If you have a better CPU, which is your processor, then I would recommend the, the process, processor, obviously. Uh, rescale output. I don't have anything over here because I'll, I'll show you in a second why. Uh, custom mixer settings, don't touch anything. Uh, rate control. So I have it set to CBR, which is one of my, one of the best ones that I tested. Uh, bit rate, I use 50,000 bit rate because I record in 2K resolution, which is 1440p. Um, again, this is one of the best bit rates that I've tested. Uh, I usually export at around 40, 45 when I, when I edit in Premiere Pro. I use 50K. Uh, there's no blur. There's no like drop frames or anything for my PC. Uh, key rame, keyframe interval, this is set to 2. It's one of the, the best settings that I tested. Preset, obviously max quality because you want you know, as uh, as nice of a picture as you can get. Profile high, look ahead non psycho visual tuning, uh, yes. And then GPU zero and max brief B frames too. Set those up and you are done. Go to audio again. If you haven't done it in a in a previous video, change these bit rates to 320 each. So each of them 320 because this is the best bit rate for the audio. Uh, and now that for this part where I said uh, that I'm not using rescale output. If you go to video and you have your base canvas resolution, I have it set to 2K because it's my native monitor resolution. Uh, whatever your native monitor resolution is, set it to that. And then output scale resolution, I have it set to the same one. The reason is um, if you go to output again, for streaming, I have it set to rescale, which it rescales to 720p or 1080p, whatever you want to set over here. But for recording, I don't have it rescaled because I'm recording on the same 2K resolution. So that's one of the things you can do. Um, if you want to record 1080p, then obviously click this button, set 1080p. I would recommend around uh, 20, 25K bitrate for 1080p. That looks pretty decent. Uh, and then for video again, 
you gotta go uh, downscale filter land sauce. I think that's how it's that's how you say it. Uh, that's one of the sharpest uh, downscale filters and looks the the best. And then common FPS value obviously 60 if you want to record 60 FPS. If not, then 30. But if you record videos like this where where you game and you move a lot, then I would obviously recommend 60. Everything else uh, you shouldn't really change too much. Set up hotkeys for recording and stuff like that, and everything else. Keep it like like it usually is, and you should uh, stream. 1440p or record sorry 1440p 60 without any issues let me know if these uh, options help you if they did make sure to like comment and subscribe talking about subscriptions only four percent of the people are subscribed to this channel that watch the video so make sure to subscribe and uh, support if you wanna if you wanna help me out and again i do stream on twitch every single day except sundays link down in the description below anyway guys i'll see you in the next video peace out and uh, have a good one Bye bye